Hi guys! Welcome to the Craft Time Studio. This is my first video for 2021 and I'm starting with a very controversial topic. The use of Sculpey 3. For many clay accessory makers, using Sculpey 3 is an absolute no-no because apparently, it breaks quite easily. Before I proceed with this experiment, let me first tell you that I'm no way an expert on Sculpey. My main purpose for sharing this is for those people who have already bought Sculpey 3 and are wondering if there's any good use for it. To make this a more effective experiment, I will first show you what happens when you bake Sculpey 3 and what happens when you mix it with other clay. On the web, it says that for Sculpey 3, you have to preheat the oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit or 135 degrees Celsius and bake it for 15 minutes per a quarter inch of thickness. I'm also going to use Sculpey Primo Accents. On the web, it says that when you use Primo Accents, you have to bake at 275 degrees Fahrenheit or 130 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes per 1 fourth inch in thickness, which is a lot longer than the 15 minutes bake time of Sculpey 3. Finally, I'm also going to use Fimo Effect. Baking time is a maximum of 30 minutes at a temperature of 110 degrees Celsius or 230 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a lower temperature than Sculpey. So, to make this experiment, I will first bake a Sculpey 3 clay. Then, I will do equal parts Sculpey 3 and Primo Accents. Finally, equal parts Sculpey 3 and Fimo Effect. First, I thoroughly condition all the clay, especially the ones with blends. I notice that if you don't condition the clay enough, I get air bubbles when I bake them. So do take the time to condition the clay properly, especially if you are mixing different brands.
Now that everything's been mixed, I roll out each clay into a thickness of about 1 16th of an inch and I cut a piece of it using the same cutter. Finally, I begin baking. For purposes of this experiment, I get my thermometer to check the temperature of my oven. I have always been using this oven toaster and it doesn't have a temperature control, so I have to use a separate thermometer to check how high it goes. In theory, if I were to follow the baking instructions of Sculpey 3 with a slab of about 1 16th of an inch in thickness, I should be baking my clay for only 3.75 minutes. But as I am not hitting the desired heat of 130 degrees Celsius, I normally bake my clay 3 minutes. Then, I let it cool for another 3 minutes and I do this about 5 times, which is in total 30 minutes, including cooling. So now, I do the stress test. As you can see, the Sculpey 3 does bend a little bit, but I do feel that among the three, it is the least flexible. The Sculpey 3 and Primo Accents blend is more bendy, but as it turns out, the most flexible among the three is the Sculpey 3 and Fimo blend. For my own personal use, I normally mix my Sculpey 3 with either Fimo or Primo when making jewelry and buttons. My buttons have been through the wash and they're still intact, so I think that this works for me. However, you should also consider the thickness of your creations, the temperature of your oven, and how much you condition your clay in order to get it right. Over time, you will discover what works best for you. Thank you again for watching this video and I hope that at the very least, it gave you some hope for your Sculpey 3. If you haven't yet, do consider liking and subscribing to the Craft Time Studio. Have a great week ahead! Bye!